Okay, hello and welcome. Um, my name is Franco Ruiz. I'm gonna go ahead and play Qbert today. Um, I've played some some older games like Street Fighter and and Gauntlet and and other arcade ones. Frogger is a fun one, um, but this one's definitely gonna be a newbie for me. I've never played the classic Qbert before, so let's select. Whoop. We are player one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So right off the bat, uh, very simple instructions and fatal death. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. This is going to get some getting used to. The orientation is a little different than what I'm used to. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's definitely one thing that I've always appreciated about um, some older games is the fact that they kind of don't give you any time to really think. They just throw you into the deep end. And if something happens, then so be it, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> think I'm on my last life. And that okay. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely different from uh the usual uh games, especially nowadays. A lot of things have tutorials, but for some reason, you know, I guess it's simplified in a lot of ways. Uh, there we go. Um, very fun though. The graphics are definitely <laughs> nothing to to gawk at, um, <laughs> but they're definitely um, it's simplistic and 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 kind of it's cute in its own way. It definitely um, shoot. <laughs> Let's see if I can't. Oh, awesome! All right, ten out of ten. <laughs> The graphics are so simple. Um, the the actual level design is is so it it's really nothing special, but it it keeps things so very interesting. <laughs> I definitely appreciate the scoring because I believe in the beginning it was saying that if I actually have an extra life, then it'll actually give me six thousand extra points, which in this instance, like that would be pff, that would be a lot. Considering how often I'm probably going to die at this. Huh? Ah? Frick. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can't. I'm kind of tilting my head a little bit to try and uh, orient myself properly. Because down is kind of down to the left, so that's definitely something that I feel anyone in an arcade setting would definitely have to keep in mind. Usually everything with graphics nowadays, it's very geared towards the viewer, so above all, you know, it's it's made for, for player ease. And anything, you know, even remotely <laughs> challenging would still be kind of oriented to uh, the viewer's axis. So it would be very straightforward, you know, very up and down. <laughs> but this one's definitely giving me a run for my money. Yeah, no, my spatial awareness is crap. <laughs> um, but I like the simplicity. I like the fact that different, uh, you know, shapes, different monsters, different blobs, they all have, like, very specific ways in which they move. Um, but they're not... <laughs> they're not um, overly designed or, or overly crazy. Um more than anything they kind of just they're there to inhabit the field of vision and and kind of you know give you a sense of panic um uh there we go <laughs> i do appreciate the fact that you know after dying it gives me like this couple second leeway um okay okay so scoring is definitely Scoring would is definitely a big aspect of this game. It's something that kind of, um, you know, kept people coming back. You know, that whole high score thing. 
you know, I've played pinball machines, I've gone to arcades before, and, and there's definitely that sense of glory that you get whenever you actually, you know, successfully, uh, you know, beat a game and get its high score. Okay, this is interesting. A new character that... Oh, oh, they froze? Okay, okay, I'm gonna use this. Ah! <laughs> okay, I think I got it. No, no! Ah! Okay. Oh, uh, the color changing tile, that's definitely a new one. <laughs> I really I like this. I like the fact that it, it keeps there's so many so many simplistic things that it introduces that kind of keep you guessing and make you have to to kind of keep track of a multitude of different things at the same time. Oh man, these little purple guys are wild cards. Yeah, graphics are nothing to gawk at. Um but character design is simple it's cute i see why cubert stuck around um i don't really you know i don't know how they came up with it but it's cute it's simple um the scoring is definitely something it makes me want to get a higher score and try again and again and again i'm the kind of persistent player that when i see things like this happening i absolutely want to try again um definitely as a, as like a 21st century player honestly it's you know it's definitely nothing crazy. I've, you know, I've played uh, incredible MMOs. I've played things that have, you know, beautiful graphics. I'm someone who loves uh, incredibly in-depth environments. <laughs> um, I love when there's things to explore. And this one doesn't really give you much of an area of exploration. You know, it's the, it is the same type of map. It is essentially the same um you know rep repetitive kind of gameplay um but something that it definitely does incorporate is that it gives you new aspects of gameplay um so you kind of have to to think differently and try new things as you go and definitely dodge some of these some of these are scary 